You know, we were surprised here to count up just how many times Mr. Bush and his wife Barbara visited Louisville while in office and out of office at least five times at our count so far. And on one visit, no one was more surprised than the mayor at the time. When President George H.W. Bush came bounding down the stairs of Air Force One in Louisville in June of 1991, at the foot of the stairs was Jerry Abramson, the longtime mayor. You're a Democrat, he's a Republican president. You know, it was, it was really a surprise, to be honest with you. I mean, I'd gone out to, to meet the President of the United States, and as he's coming off the uh, Air Force One, he says, would you like to ride in the limousine with me downtown to the speech? And away they went. The president is allowed to drive a lot faster than you and I, of course. You see his vehicle, his limousine beginning to depart. Abramson told me that he used the rare one-on-one -on -one time to get some red tape cut by the chief executive. I had several pending requests for grants from the federal government, affordable housing and a public transportation grant for TARC at the time. And so I was lobbying the guy for my hometown, sitting in his car on the way down 65. He also remembers the irony of being asked to ride in that limo. At the time, there was a governor's race going on in Kentucky. The Republican candidate for governor was standing right there at the base of Air Force One. And the president turned to me and said, Mary, you want to ride with me downtown? Leaving the candidate on the tarmac, the president was here for the Crime Stoppers Conference. And he even stopped in to visit Jefferson County Police. Of course, we have two Crime Stopper lines. President Bush and the First Lady Barbara liked Louisville. Our coverage shows this Labor Day visit to Cardinal Stadium in 1982 to celebrate Kentucky Harvest with founder Stan Curtis. He throws out the first pitch, then gives this speech. One neighbor helping another. That is the American spirit, the American way. That is what we mean when we talk about points of light. May God bless you all, and may God bless this wonderful American spirit. Thank you so much. During that visit, he jogged around the track at Mayo High School and attended church services at Highview Baptist with the First Lady. Abramson told me he wasn't a fan of the Bush presidency at the time, but was struck by one thing. He seemed so genuine and so engaging, and his concern about what was going on in the city. I mean, his conversation started out by saying, what are the issues I can help with? Well, that's all you need to tell a mayor. And as for Bush, the former mayor says, his opinion quickly changed. A lot of us, I, I'm afraid in America, sort of overlooked that and didn't realize how humble and how committed. And when you look at the accomplishments, especially in foreign policy, I mean, he was a really special president and one that we could all look up to and feel confident with.